Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course. Brandon Wenzel, come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, see, folks, I'm playing a video series of videos I've been doing for a while. I'll go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat the stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that at the time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't plan to do a review this morning, if I'm entirely honest with you. I had to go get some supplies from the old Walmart, as it were, and uh, I was like, I don't, I don't want to do any reviews today, man. My my throat's still a little bit messed up. You know, I'm dealing with a little bit of a, an illness. You know, I'm getting better, getting better. But uh, I saw something, and I'm like, damn it! Not only can I review that, but probably help out with my throat a little bit. But we'll get to that. It's super simple format, folks. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items. I'm going to yammer on about it for a while. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm inside my truck. You can see it. Whilst I'm also inside my truck, I'm wearing a crappy work shirt. When I'm inside my truck and I'm wearing a crappy work shirt, typically that means that I went over there and I found some shit to review after I got off work. Well, I already told you that. I mean, I guess I didn't specify that it was after work. You got me on technicality. But... It was after work, and like I said, I went over to Walmart. So, what am I going to review for y'all? Why is it something that I just felt like I had to review, and why is it potentially going to help my throat a little bit? Boom! It's Van Le Leeu, and I never know how to pronounce the name. Strawberry Shortcake French Ice Cream. Ooh, let's get it. Ha! Ah. Now, if you're not familiar with the Van Leeuwen folks. Um, they, they're kind of an artisanal ice cream thing. They've, they've gained a lot of attention in the last like couple years. Uh, they like to come out with wacky flavors. So I, I've reviewed a number of their stuff. I'm going to end up probably putting a playlist together at some point. Uh, hot Honey, uh, Macaroni and Cheese, Pepperoni Pizza, Grey Poupon, Ranch Dressing. Yes, I tried it. I, all the ones I'm listing I've done reviews for, by the way. So if you're interested, go watch those reviews. And now they got strawberry shortcake. Now, Brandon, I, you know, I hear you saying they're like, that's not that weird. That's just strawberry shortcake. All right, you're right. But I love strawberry shortcake. Love it. Love it. It's my, I'm not a big cake guy. You know, I'm more of a pie person. But I love strawberry shortcake. Love it. Love it to death. So when I saw this, I'm like, plus, you know, help out my throat a little bit, you know, cool it down. It's got a little thing. Uh, nothing makes us happier than the strawberry shortcake ice cream. The goodness in this flavor includes cold ground vanilla jam from uh, organ grown strawberries and pieces of shortcake. And when there's this much goodness, it's good for you. Ben, Rate, or I never know. The, the dude in the middle. And Laura. So let's try some ice cream. Gotta open up the thing. Oh no, don't fall on the ground. Open the thing. There we go. Uh, here's the thing, because I'm doing this directly from work, I don't have a spoon on me. I do keep a few, like, sort of emergency utensils and stuff, but I'm doing one better because, folks, I've got a spork! Let me tell you an interesting fun fact. Interesting Brandon Wenzel fun fact. I didn't know sporks existed until I went to public school. Because <laughs> the first... From kinder or from preschool to third grade, I was in a private school. They don't use forks in private schools. Say what you want about it. I think it's efficient. Let's try out some strawberry shortcake ice cream. It's been in the car a little bit, so it's you know, it's, it's nice and nice and warmed up for us. Oh man, that's sickeningly good. And by the way, I reviewed a short strawberry shortcake thing. Forget the exact name of it. It's like, don't forget about cake or something like that. It's cake in a jar. Go watch that video. Didn't get a lot of views, but see, it's cake in a jar. That's how is that not interesting viewing? I don't know. I would watch it. <laughs> Yeah, that is, that is freaking exceptional. 
it. I mean, like, so, I mean, the vanilla ice cream is just good vanilla ice cream. You know, I've never had any issues. <clears throat> I think Van Leeuwen, even outside of the wacky stuff, I think their ice cream is just genuinely quality ice cream. I, I think it's really good. Um, not, not the ranch one, but the, but the other ones. Yes. I got some strawberry. So, having the vanilla ice cream, it's solid vanilla ice cream. It's good. It's got a nice texture to it. But, it's the bits inside that make it. So you basically have two bits that you get inside of it. One is, as they stated, you've got the strawberry jam. And I'll see if I can kind of... Right there. Now, I will say, if I'm being picky, I could probably use a little bit more of it. But I have found with doing these reviews, sometimes I'll go over there and I'll say, like, oh, yeah, I'm not finding a lot of stuff. And then, like, two seconds later, I'll hit the fucking mother load. But, so far, it's been a little sparse on the jam, but the jam is really good. It's nice, it's frozen. And it has a refreshing strawberry flavor to it, but it's also nice and sweet. Which, that's what you want from strawberry shortcake. Because the thing with strawberry shortcake... For me that makes it so special is that it's this perfect mix of decadent but then also kind of light and refreshing because it's cake you know so there's no way it's not gonna be a little bit decadent but you know you use a little whipped cream whipped cream not buttercream whipped cream not buttercream say it with me now folks whipped cream not buttercream if you want to use buttercream on other stuff that's fine you don't use it on a goddamn strawberry shortcake um use the lightness of the whipped cream and then you've got like the freshness of the strawberries but the strawberries are still a little bit decadent folks don't get me wrong you put that together man that's just it's wonderful it's contrast and it's it's just love it the other thing that you get are you get these little like cakey bites which are these like buttery cakey little pockets of deliciousness and they basically they just melt right in your mouth but it's they're like so they're like a little bit gooey they're a different texture than the ice cream so the ice cream melts faster than they do so when it's done you're just kind of left with just the cakey bits that's that's super good man i i like this a lot i figured i would but you know you never know until you know Now, are there points of contention? Yeah. Like I said, I think the biggest point of contention I have, because the thing, the thing with an actual, you know, proper strawberry shortcake is that ideally when you're going over there and you're, you know, cutting into it and you're, you know, using your fork or your, your spork, as it were, to get the pieces, you're trying to get like an, an equal amount, roughly, of cake, whipped cream, and strawberry, you know, because it's it's the fusion that makes it all work so well. With this format, it's harder to do that because obviously it's just going to be randomly spaced out. And like I said, I've so far I've definitely gotten way more cakey bits than the strawberry bits. So I would personally like I maybe would have gone over there. Uh, on top of doing the the strawberry little jam, you know, bits, I maybe would have done like a strawberry swirl in the middle of the vanilla. Do like a strawberry swirl with the vanilla, then add in the bits. Just to go over there and give you a little bit more strawberry to work with. But, all of the individual components work really well. Quantity-wise is about my only beef. I would like a little bit more, you know... Just so that I can go over there, I can get that that proper strawberry shortcake experience with you know, hopefully every bite or close to it. But the real question is, 
It doesn't make me think of Strawberry Shortcake. It does. It really does. It's obviously not one for one. This is not a substitute for proper Strawberry Shortcake. But, in a pinch, especially if your, your throat's a little bit sore, I can think of worse shit to eat to go over there and help soothe my throat a little bit. So, two questions have to be asked, folks. Number one, would I get it again? Number two, would I recommend it? And to that effect, yes and yes. Now, for myself, I really like it. I think it's really good. But here's the here's the caveat to this. I've also reviewed a number, not as many, but I've reviewed a number of ice creams from Jenny's Ice Cream. And I have maintained since doing those reviews, and I personally think Jenny is is probably the best, like, pint ice cream that you can buy. I would love to see her do a version of this. If she does, and I come across it, I will definitely review it, because I'd be really interested to see how that would compare and contrast. As for recommending it to other people, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, even if you're not huge into strawberry shortcake like I am, like, it's just, it's a good vanilla ice cream with some fun bits inside. So, you know, I, I just, I think it works, personally. I think it's good. But anyway, five things before I get out of here, folks. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Money, my rest of the month. Do pen this rest of your year. And folks, you go in there and have yourselves a truly <sighs> strawberry shortcake-tastic rest of your life. Because, folks, not only is it delicious, it was a cartoon in the 80s. I'm amazed that they haven't A, made a movie of it yet, and B, done like a full reboot series. Maybe Strawberry Shortcake wasn't as popular as I was led to believe. I didn't watch it. It was kind of a little bit before my time, but, you know, I was more, you know, Transformers kid. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in your world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Now, folks, it's not always the easiest thing to do in the world. That's why I put try at the very beginning of it. Because at the end of the day, folks, it it's a very deliberate thing. You know, like, it's <laughs> life can be very stressful, very frustrating. It can put us into situations that uh, make us want to be assholes. When we find ourselves in those situations, it's important we go over there, take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholeness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you're going to see this review of this strawberry shortcake ice cream. And maybe you're going to be like, but Brandon, what about this cake? And what about this cake? And what about that cake? And I'm going to be like, you know, I mean, I don't know. It's gonna, it's, it's a cake-by-cake cake basis, okay? I'm not saying I'm totally against cake. I'm just, I'm more of a pie person, okay? It's a rare thing that I meet a pie that I don't like, but cake, eh, cake I'll typically, eh, you know. But there are some cakes that I like too, okay? I'm not, I am not prejudiced against cakes. I just, I want that, particularly depending on the definition of the word cake that we're using and what it's referencing to. But anyway, we're going to leave that at that. Um, or conversely, just get whatever damn cake you want. It's free country, hopefully. It depends on where you're watching this and what timeline you're on. If this is like the year 3094 or some shit like that, who the fuck knows? Bye!